So, I was planning on justifying starting this channel with an obscure film with a tiny distribution that nobody's ever heard of by saying, what a better time to start than the first film of 2016 that I saw! And then I went to look it up to make sure. Apparently there was a 2015 digital release from DirecTV's on-demand service. Oh well... I already wrote the script, so here's the video anyway! When the theater I work at got a hard drive labeled Mojave, I was like, what the fuck is this? At first I thought it was a code name for something. Some studios will label the outer DCP packaging with a code name, especially for bigger titles. For example, The Force Awakens was called ABCO or AVCO. But when I opened it up, nope, it's some film called Mojave. So I looked it up. And holy crap, it's written and directed by William Monaghan, the guy who wrote The Departed, and it stars Oscar Isaac, Garrett Hedlund, Walton Goggins, and Mark Wahlberg. I was interested just based on that talent involved, and what do you know, it's pretty good. Obviously, the acting is incredible. Oscar Isaac is great, Goggins is great, Wahlberg is great, even Garrett Hedlund, who in the past I haven't really liked all that much, did a really fine job in this. The writing is pretty excellent as well. The characters are eccentric and interesting, and watching them interact is a treat. The film itself is a slow-burning thriller that is very careful about how it doles out information. You start out knowing virtually nothing about who the characters are or why they're doing what they're doing, but as the film goes on, things are gradually revealed and everything slowly becomes clearer. I already knew Monaghan was a good writer, though, based on his work on The Departed. The question is, is he a good director? The answer is yes. This film is tense, with a good dose of humor thrown in to break things up. The characters, aside from being interesting, are generally intelligent, both in their words and actions, on top of being unpredictable and at times explosive. Monaghan wields the information he withholds from the audience as a tool to ratchet up the tension. For example, there's a point where, not knowing quite enough about the characters' lives and where they live, I wasn't sure if they were in the same place or not, and therefore whether there would be a confrontation. Now, I can see how that can sound like a cheap, exploitative way to manufacture thrills, like the filmmakers decided, let's just hide the houses until the last minute so the audience doesn't know what's gonna happen, but it doesn't play out that way. The scene is already moving the plot forward and exploring the characters regardless. That added uncertainty is just a bonus layer of tension that I, as a viewer, interpreted from the editing. Speaking of extra layers, the film also has a little bit of subtext critiquing Hollywood culture. It's not in your face or anything, just a little extra goodness beneath the surface. Now, a lot of other reviewers are unfairly blasting this film. I think a lot of the issues stem from people not wanting to have to dig into it to get all the information gives out just enough to understand it, but you do have to think about it. Very little is just handed out on a platter. I've been seeing a lot of, well, the acting is good, but it doesn't really come together. What? Not just the acting. Of course, Oscar Isaac never does a less than stellar job, and the rest of the cast knocks it out of the park too, but there's plenty more going for this film. The dialogue, the pacing, the score by Andrew Hewitt. The music does a really good job of setting the tone, especially in the beginning, and the audience doesn't have a whole lot else concrete to grasp onto. I'm not quite sure yet if it's going to make my best of 2015 list, but if you're willing to be patient with the slow pace and a little opacity around the character's motivations, Mojave's totally worth the ride. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, since this is my first video up here, going to take a few moments to talk about the channel. Not going to plug any sponsors or anything. There are no sponsors as evidenced by the mediocre audio quality, the shitty webcam. Thank you so much for putting up with my technical limitations. I'm not trying to be a Chris Stuckman or a Your Movie Sucks or anything like that here. This channel is just an outlet for me to talk about film with my other film-loving friends, as well as anyone else out there that's interested in what I have to say. I'm going to try not to ramble too much here, but I just want to give you guys an idea of some of the things I'm working on, kind of what this channel is going to be about. In addition to these single film review videos, which I am going to try to get out in a more timely fashion. I really wanted to get this video out while the movie was still playing, but it just had such a short run. Our theater was the only one in town that was playing it, and we only had it for a week. 
plus on top of having a full-time job, it just wasn't going to happen. But hopefully, as I get more comfortable with the editing process and the software, hopefully I'll be able to churn them out more quickly after I've seen them, so it can be an actual recommendation to go out and see the movie. I might not necessarily review everything that I see, both because I don't always have a whole lot to say about every movie, but also I don't have enough time. I try to see a lot of films, and if I try to review each and every one as I see it, I'm just going to get bogged down. I want to stay kind of current so that I can have actual relevant reviews to what's playing now, but I will also throw in some older stuff both from the backlog of more recent things that I maybe didn't get to, as well as maybe if I rewatch some movies, or there are plenty of classics from the past that I still need to see for the first time. So, additionally, I also have some bigger videos in mind that I'm working on. I wanted to get my 2014 out soon, my 2014 best of list, but I keep finding new films, so it's, it's going to happen when it's going to happen. I am working on a, since we're coming up on the Oscars pretty soon, we're kind of in the middle of the award season right now, I want to do a sort of general thoughts on the award season, like what I think about the movies that are being nominated, and what I think should win, stuff like that, and maybe a 2015 type video, not my, my 2015 list is still a year plus out, like I said, I'm still working on 2014. Um, I'll talk more about why the delay is so long on those when that 2014 video drops. But I'm thinking of maybe some kind of smaller 2015 list, have a few ideas in mind for that. Just something to spice it up in between these review videos. Which, speaking of which, I have a question for you guys. On these reviews, do you want me to put in a quantitative review in addition to the qualitative one? That is, should I put a numerical rating out of 10? I didn't think it would really be quite as useful. Uh, my goal here is to give just enough information about what's in the movie as well as what I think about it to make you make an informed decision about what you want to see without spoiling anything. I want it to be a fresh experience, so that's why I didn't really talk about the plot <clears throat> much at all of this movie, since part of the intrigue is figuring out what's going on as it plays out. But if it's helpful to you guys to distill everything into a number, I can do that. Uh, so just let me know in the comments, both answer to that question as well as any other comments that you got. And thank you for watching once again. Keep an eye on this channel in the future. I've got some exciting things planned. Hope you guys like what I have in store for you. See you next time on Brain Wrap.